Good morning, everybody. Hope your day is off to a great start. Let's just get right to it. I got a uh, Gmail today, email today, from someone who recently visited Slab City. A female in her 40s went down. She said, Rosie, as a result of your video, I drove down there, wasn't too far away, and decided for the first time to take a run into Slab City. Great. I think it's wonderful. How did you like it? She's like, it was a terrible experience for me. With the uh, heat down there and the uh, disastrously um, dirty and disheveled uh, condition. And, but that, she said, I expected. But the worst part was I couldn't seem to, um, you know, uh, get anybody to talk to me or give me en any information. I rolled up on a few... A um, few compounds, as she called them, and just didn't, you know, just didn't have the comfort level to be able to really engage people beyond, uh, hi, where's the library, where's the range, do you remember Rosie when Rosie came through, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to qualify some things on there and just to give you a little bit of a heads up. Look, you can be what I call, there's two levels of going and there's three levels of Slab City in my opinion. Level one is in the comfort of your car. You just drive in, you loop some of the um, dirt roads, you do your looky-loo, you, yeah, 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 you look around, take your pictures. And you head on out the road, maybe after an hour, maybe you talk to somebody, maybe you don't. But you're just a, you're a, you're a ride by, which is the way most people are going to see Slav City. Level two is when you actually know somebody there and have been communicating comfortable. Uh, doing so, that's going to open up a whole different world to you. You know, I never could imagine just going in raw and doing anything except just a level one visit. And I got a big mouth. Yeah, I could have showed up at the handlebar. Uh, you know, the bar, people, who in the hell is that? But having that entree and somebody you know and follow is important. So my best advice, if you're going to do that and you want to have a good time and you want to do more than just a ride through, Follow some people, just put Slab City in the search box and follow some people that upload and put their life at Slab City. Okay, and maybe drop a few comments and maybe they'll respond and eventually, hey, I'm coming, thinking about coming through in October. I want to give you a little dono, maybe five, ten bucks, or a little, you know, grease the wheel a little, do, do a little something. You're coming in to where people are uh, living. There's really theoretically nothing in it for them. And what often happens is they get very, um, you know, not the, not the most savory reports and not the most savory videos because they're feeding in what they're feeding into what they think an audience wants to hear and see on YouTube and not necessarily the way real life is down there. So that's, you want that level two. Of course, level three is the people that live there. And maybe that's you. Maybe you want to go there and stake out a site, find a nice area, walk around to the uh, existing uh, place. Hey, is anybody here? Kind of make yourself involved. We're not getting into that. But I'm saying if it's not so easy, I think. I mean, imagine going into any small town in America, whether it's uh, Western Pennsylvania, former coal mining steel town, or uh, a place down in Mississippi, uh, a farm, a farming community. It's not. It's the same thing, right? Most people are just going to be level one, drive in, take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. Um, but if you really want to know people, then you're going to have to do the groundwork. You're either going to have to spend some time in there and get some acquaintances, or you're going to have to sort of pre-know some people to really find out what's going on. Sorry you had a negative experience. In my opinion, it's not negative so much as it didn't meet your expectations. I think because you wanted to mirror the experience that I had, but the experience I had was the result of years of um, interaction before I ever step foot in uh, Slab. It just makes it a lot more fun. And it also makes it 
So when I go back in the fall and uh, winter, I'm, I'm known to people, you know, and it's just going to make it uh, better and better and better. And by the way, don't come in as the Chinese say Kong So. I mean, if you're going to meet somebody, bring a little something in, right? Some alcohol, some uh, beer, something to eat, a case, you know, it, it just goes a long way in terms of uh, hospitality. Well, I'm going to close out now and uh, hope you have a good experience with all of your travels. Your thumbs up are appreciated. These opinions I express are just mine. Your results may vary. Thanks, everybody.